Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to day seven of the Valentine's Day card series for 2021. Today I'm using the Pretty Postage stamp set from Honeybee Stamps. And I love this image so much. It has an envelope with all these flowers blooming right out of it. Anything to do with mail and postage, I'm all for. So I'm gonna be using this dot card from Yuli Watercolors. And this is the glitter card, the HG series glitter dot card. Um, basically dot cards are little bits of watercolor that you can use. Generally, generally they are sample cards so you can test out different colors. Um, I also have the Christmas series dot card right here. You've seen me use the Christmas series paints in previous videos and they're absolutely stunning. But I'd never used this, these types of glitter watercolors so I wanted to try those out today. I'm using some Stonehenge black paper from Legion and I'm cutting it to five and a half I'm sorry five inches by four and a half it's a little bit off from being completely square and that's because I wanted to have kind of the same distance around this image and I wanted it to be just a little bit of a different size card so I've prepped the black watercolor paper with an anti-static powder tool I'm inking up that stamp with the Versamark ink, and I'm going to be stamping it and embossing it with gold embossing powder. I thought since there is kind of a gold glitter on that dot card, it'd be really fun to have a gold line for all my images. I'm using my Stampin' Bug glider to get a really good impression. And as I applied my gold embossing powder, I realized that there was a little section right in the center of those flowers that didn't get any ink on it. I must have just not inked up the stamp very well. So um, I almost re-stamped it, but then I decided to just go with it. I could paint in that area and it wouldn't be too noticeable. So I heat set that until all the lines were smooth and melted. And then we're gonna get right into the painting. So dot cards, if you're not familiar with them, are generally used so uh, you can sample the different types of watercolor that a brand might offer. So Yuli Watercolors, Jeannie over at Etsy, she sent me a bunch of her new dot cards and they're phenomenal. And you're going to see as I paint this today that these dot cards are actually pretty perfect for card makers because generally we're working on very, very small uh, projects like in, in dimension and actual physical size. So we don't generally need a huge amount of any one color, especially if we're going to be adding little accents with glitter or shimmer or pearlescent watercolors. Now for this card today, I am painting the entire thing with glitter watercolor, but it would equally look amazing if you painted it with regular watercolors um, or even some metallic watercolors and then added small glitter accents. So I'm just painting this on. I'm not doing any particular shading at this point. Um, I will later on on the envelope since that's a very large area and I wanted to have a little bit of a variation in color. But for these smaller segments, the pink flowers, the green leaves, I decided to just fill the area with that glitter paint. And it looks absolutely stunning on top of this black cardstock. The video footage does not even do it justice. I was painting this and just floored by how beautiful these are. Now, if you are an experienced crafter and have used glitter products before, you're probably in the back of your mind saying the same thing that I was. Is this gonna hold up in the mail? Is it gonna slide off? in the envelope or come, or is the glitter gonna come off on fingertips, you know, for the recipient when they open the card? So, um, sort of, not really. I tested this out after the card was completely finished. I came back even a couple days later. And when I lightly like wipe my fingertips over the flowers that are painted, a little bit of glitter comes off enough that I think I would recommend using a sealant or fixative on top of your glitter painting just to prevent any shimmer coming off. It's not a huge amount. There's a part of me that is, that's kind of like, well, maybe I'll chance it and just go ahead and send this card as is. But I also think it would be equally um, relevant to go ahead and just spray this with a fixative before I send it off in the mail. I think it's a, probably a good step to take and it's worth the trouble. 
So I'm finishing off this area. You may notice that on the envelope, I have more concentrated glitter in some areas. I did that by putting the glitter down on it and then coming back with a clean brush and just spreading the glitter out so it became a little bit less concentrated in some other areas. Uh, just to speed up the drying process, I hit this with my heat tool, kept it moving. I didn't want to remelt any of that embossing powder that I used earlier. So all the paintings finished, I'm gonna work on a small greeting. In the stamp set, there's a little greeting that says love enclosed. I thought that was the perfect greeting for this envelope image. So I used the same black watercolor paper, just a, a scrap of it that I had after I cut down my panel. And I stamped and heat embossed that greeting in the same gold embossing powder. This is gilded embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. Trimmed that down. And then I decided that I wanted it to have a little bit of the same shimmer and color that the rest of the image does. So I took this kind of rose gold shade, kind of a pinky champagne color, and just lightly added that over the top. Not a ton. I didn't want it too concentrated because I did want those words to still be very legible. But I did add just a little bit of shimmer right over those words. Okay, once everything was dry, it was time to assemble my card. So I'm putting foam adhesive on the back of my watercolor panel and I'm adhering it to a five and a half by five inch white card base. This card base is made out of Seminina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock. So I place that down and then I put a little bit of foam tape on the back of my greeting. I'm using my tweezers just to hold that in place while I get it in the right spot. And then I'll press that down onto the card. And that finishes my card for today. This is actually a very simple card to create. And that glitter watercolor is what really packs a punch. So you could try this with metallic watercolors or pearlescent watercolors, or I think it'd be really pretty just painted in regular watercolor on white watercolor paper. Thanks so much for joining me today. Just a reminder that I will be back here live at YouTube this Friday at noon mountain time. So please come back and join me. I'll do some live card making. It will be day eight of the Valentine's Day card series. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys on Friday.